I'm the artistic director and uh, the lead violin of the Australian Chamber Orchestra. This beautiful instrument is uh, nicknamed the Caridus and it's made by Giuseppe Guarneri. The maker's nickname was Del Gesù. And when you say the name Del Gesù, it means as much as Stradivarius to violinists and violin makers. Del Gesù and Stradivari both worked in Cremona, which is the heart and soul of violin making. Del Gesù was not so well known as Stradivarius. He was more mysterious. I call him the Caravaggio of violin making. Stradivarius was a suburban family man in comparison. Del Gesù was even implicated in certain crimes up to the level of murder. He didn't work as hard, but when he did work, he created some of the very best violins. He died younger, much, much younger than Stradivarius. The violins that Del Gesù created, of course, reflect his character. It's famous for being quite roughly hewn, that the scroll isn't elegant, it's really bold and strong. They write that, you know, it looks like the knife has sort of gone in almost in a passionate way. And the sound is like that too. It, it's rough, it's not as penetrating in a diamond cutting way that Stradivarius is. The Del Gesù is wide and and quite broad and rich, and you could even argue that it's mellower, but it goes down. You, you want to get into the instrument. It takes a long time before the bow crunches the string, whereas on a Stradivarius, you use lighter pressure. Also, I use gut strings, which adds to the richness of it. The genealogy is well studied. The Caridus was made in 1743, 13 years before the birth of Mozart, so that puts it in context. But it wasn't really until Paganini came along that Del Gesù became really well known and celebrated equally to Stradivarius. Paganini played Del Gesù instruments, and we know that he had two. The principal Del Gesù instrument that he owned is nicknamed Il Canone, the Canon. It's in a museum in Genoa in Italy. It's just regarded as an invaluable treasure as part of the cultural history of the country. We know that he had another Del Gesù instrument that he at some point lost gambling. And, um, and it is believed and I like to believe it, that's for sure, that this other instrument is this one sitting here. The last musician to own it and play it was a fellow called Ossi Renardi. He was killed in a car accident and the violin survived in the 50s. And then it went through a number of hands of collectors. So it ha hadn't been played for 50 years. Once you get used to these instruments, there's absolutely no doubt that there's something about it. There, there's something in the sound. We did a completely blind test when we were testing these instruments with the Stradivarius, the Guadagnini, and a few other instruments. And each time, the Del Gesù came up because of something in its soul. And modern instruments, to, um, from my experience, um, don't have that. Where the soul comes from, we'll keep on investigating.